Hello everyone and welcome to my channel on another video in our clinical pharmacy course. Today's video is very important because I'm going to walk you through a clinical pharmacist interview. This is a real-time clinical pharmacist interview with real questions that you may be asked in a clinical pharmacist interview. Now I know that a few of you might have already applied for a clinical pharmacist job and didn't get it because they didn't do well in the interview. Uh, or maybe you're thinking about it, but you're worried that you're not going to do well, you're not going to perform well in the uh, interview, which is totally fine because interviews are horrible situations. So my job today is to walk you through a real-time clinical pharmacist interview, tell you exactly what to expect from those interviews, what are the questions that you probably will see in the interview, how to answer them, and I'm going to give you sample answers, and what else to expect? How um, does the interview go? Is it divided into different parts? What to expect from the beginning to the end and how long is the interview going to be? Everything will be discussed in today's video. Now, thank you all for being exclusive members. I'm assuming that because you're an exclusive member, you have access to this video, which is one of my exclusive content. Um, so thank you very much for uh, trusting the channel and uh, becoming exclusive members. Now let's get started with today's presentation. Now a clinical pharmacist interview is usually divided into three parts. The first part, that's when you get your screening questions. And those are just general interview questions that you see everywhere in every profession. And we're gonna go through them in a minute. The second part is usually a clinical case with a case discussion. The third part is usually the clinical questions uh, section. Now, each one of these parts will have an, a panel of interviewers. They may or may not change through the interview. Um, however, from my experience as an interviewer, the first part will have one uh, interviewer or two at a max. The second part, you'll be all by yourself, and then once you're done with the clinical case, the discussion part will have at least two interviewers. And the third part, that's when they usually uh, bring in a third or a fourth interviewer, uh, usually from HR, uh, in addition to another uh, clinical pharmacist, uh, plus the first two people that interviewed you at the very first stages. So don't panic. If you see different people coming in, introducing themselves and interviewing you, that's how it goes. And they have to have multiple witnesses on your answers, recording your answers so that um, they could avoid uh, conflict of interest. So what I'm gonna go through today is the first phase, the screening questions, second phase, the clinical case, the third phase, a clinical case discussion and the fourth phase which is the clinical questions phase and again because usually these interviews take over four or five hours of interviewing I'm gonna have to break this video into two or three parts all of them will be on my channel so you can access them whenever you want let's start with phase number one Phase number one, screening questions. This is usually the first part of the interview. You have just arrived at the um, hospital or the clinic, wherever you're interviewing, um, and somebody will meet you up at the door maybe or somewhere at the hospital. They'll take you in a quick tour to show you around. They might buy you a coffee or water, whatever you uh, like, because it will be uh, probably early in the morning and uh, also uh, to, uh, to, to loosen you up a little bit so that your, your stress uh, 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 lessens a little bit before your, uh, your actual interview. Uh, now in this part, the interviewers are trying to get to know who you are, uh, why are you applying for the job, are you truly the person you mentioned in your resume or not? Because believe it or not, some people lie in their resumes. So they're gonna try their best to identify if this is true or not, and um, if, our, if your experiences are true or not. Uh, do you actually um, 
uh, know how to do the things you mentioned in the resume or not by asking you a f multiple questions. Some of them might be a little bit uh, personality questions. This is also where your um, first impression goes a long way. So try your best to give a really good first impression because it will affect the next stages of your interview. Be concise, maintain confidence, answer questions wisely, and do not hesitate to showcase your portfolio in a very respectful manner. You don't have to show off. Just bring it up. If you have something that you want to show uh, case in your portfolio, bring it up and say, hey, this is what I've been doing and this is what I've achieved. Now let's take a look at some examples of screening questions that you might be asked in a clinical pharmacist interview. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Now this is a very common question. You will get this anywhere in any interview. They want to get to know you. Remember that. And your answers will be recorded while you're answering them and compared with your resume. So each and every interviewer in the room will have a copy of your resume. You will not have a copy of your resume, but they will and they will be looking at the resume and comparing your answers while you're answering them. Example answer. My name is Joe and I've been a pharmacist for over 22 years. I have a Bachelor of Pharmacy and a Postgrad Doctor of Pharmacy degrees and I've been practicing as a clinical pharmacist for over 20 years now. I've had the pleasure to work for many hospitals over the years and I've helped so many patients. You don't want to make it too long and you don't want to make it too short. This amount of uh, uh, wording is just perfect. You can add or remove any of these if you don't have them or if you have something else that you want to add up. For example, you have a bachelor of pharmacy degree, a master's degree, and a postgrad doctor of pharmacy degree. You can mention that, um, but don't make it too long. Another example of questions in the screening phase is, tell us about your experience as a pharmacist. Now here they're trying to get to know the pharmacist you. A sample answer would be, my most recent experience as a pharmacist was with Cleveland Clinic, where I worked as a clinical pharmacist for the last six years. During that time, I covered the cardiology intensive care unit and was honored to work with some of the top cardiologists in the country. Prior to that, I worked for Johns Hopkins Hospital for three years. During that time, I covered pediatric emergency clinical pharmacy services and worked mainly with pediatric patients and emergency doctors and pediatricians.